Well, good afternoon and welcome to Paul Angela Russo Stadium for today's matchup between the John Carroll Patriots and the Cabernet Cardinals. I'm Brandon Trentler alongside Kevin Lochte here to bring you coverage of today's game. A little windy today, around 62 degrees here at Paul Angela Russo Stadium and ready to get underway this afternoon. Cabernet taking the field now. John Carroll breaking their huddle. Yeah, John Carroll looking for their first win in conference today. They certainly have a tall task ahead of them, taking on nationally ranked Cardinals, 21 in the country, 2 and 1 conference. As you mentioned, beautiful weather out here, nice and sunny, not a cloud in sight. It's a good day for some lacrosse. Yeah, John Carroll haven't scored over seven goals in conference play. So they're looking for that. Cabernet only one game without uh, over one game under 15 goals, and that was against St. Mary's in that away Friday night game. Opening face-off taken by Jackson Strickland for Calvert Hall and Michael Cox for John Carroll. Ball's loose. Donnie had it, lost it, and John Carroll will keep it. They had numbers decide to get their get their middies in. John Carroll moving it around with their first possession. Nice swim move, and flag comes out. Called against Hayden Warren. So John Carroll able to get the early man up. So the John Carroll guy made a shifty little move to get past, and Howard Hall had the foul there in that situation. See if John Carroll can capitalize up one man right now. So Warren called with a slash and will sit for one minute. John Carroll would love to get the goal right here. Yeah, especially going in as big underdogs, any momentum be greatly appreciated for them. Trying to do a little hidden ball, not gonna fool. Cabernet defense. Oh, shot from distance, shot goal. That's Colin Thompson from distance to get John Carroll on the score sheet. That was good movement there. They were just passing around, waiting for that open shot. Able to uh, get an open shot not far off the goal. Able to capitalize early. So Strickland and Cox with the face off. Cox able to pull it out, taking it quickly. <laughs> That's two early face off wins for John Carroll. Thompson again. Gonna dodge. That's Patelka on him. Now Harmel. Now Kolb. Kolb taking it right side. Good defense by Josh Nagy and a turnover for the Patriots. Able to intercept that pass almost. Schwartz in goal today for the Cardinals. Nagy going to continue his lacrosse career at Navy. You may recognize him from 
the soccer field as well. Multi-sport athlete. Seems to be a good number of these Calvert Hall starters who are athletes in more than just lacrosse. See a lot of football guys. Forte now with it. And now Baxo, full speed, dumps it to Hoddle. Hoddle, nice pass. Kelly isn't able to hold on to it. Ball still loose and picked up. Refs gonna call that. So Calvert Hall ball. Here's Baxo, Baxo off the mark. Whalen behind Cage with it. Here's Kelly, now Hoddle looking to dodge. Shot, goal, wide Hoddle. Gets covered all to even it out at ones. Yeah, showing good speed there. As you mentioned it was a really good dodge and just took off, had a good angle at the uh, goal, and able to fire it in there. Tie this game back up. No call an early face off. And that's against Cox. The senior. Calvert Hall goals scored by number one, Wyatt Hoddle. Assist by number nine, Joshua Kelly. Here's Joe Duggan. Joe Duggan shot. Took a deflection. It'll stay white ball. Not sure if that was off the goalie or it took a weird hop. It was off a weird the, bounce. Uh, Didn't look post. like it was off the post or anything like that. Maybe off of. Uh, off a of man, not not a hundred entirely sure what happened. Here's Botech. Nice little spin move. Shuey from distance. Still bounced out. And now John Carroll on the break. Botech trying to poke one out. And now John Carroll have it. Calvert Hall did a good job getting back on defense there. And not what you want three offensive middies on defense. Now they're able to pull the huddle out and get Fedrowski in there. Just under seven to go. Cavardall, John Carroll, both one goal apiece. Smith Meyer. Big check by Fedrowski. Fedrowski Gonna hit another, and it's gonna go covered all way. And I gave a little extra at the end there too. Love the aggression. <laughs> so now Schwartz, they're gonna clear. Have 10 seconds to do so. Get it over half. Here's Baxo. Gets it in. Baxo dodges right, shot, goal! Kyle Baxo gets his first of the day. And yeah, both of Calvert Hall's goals coming from a similar spot. They like that right side of the field. Two nice dodges, two goals. First lead of the day for Calvert Hall. Strickland fighting to win that one. He's able to pull it out. 
Calvert Hall goals scored by number 42, Kyle Baxo. Ever since those first two um, plays there, uh, Calvert Hall has really had control of the ball. Done a good job, time of possession. Hattel got some speed. Shuey dumps another, it off the Duggan. Another opportunity here for Calvert Hall. Just spread the ball. Here's Collier. Collier trying to spin inside. Shot deflected. Looks like it should be Calvert Hall ball. Good save by Connor Coolahan. Botech takes another weird bounce. John Carroll able to try to get it out. Bowen can't pick up the ground ball. And now ball's loose again. And Warren finally able to collect it for Calvert Hall. Calvert Hall on the break. Got numbers if they Warren go quick. shot. Go Hayden Warren. Depot goal. And what a pass by Shuey Kelly. Yeah, just taking it off the open field. It looked like they might have had a four on three there. Just find the open man. <laughs> Able to capitalize. Now up two here early in the first quarter. Strickland with another face-off win. That's his fourth of the day. 4.30 left to go. Calvert Hall goals scored by number 25, H1. Assist by number nine, Joshua Kelly. Making up for that early slash in the game. That nice goal there. Here's Baxo, dodges left this time from distance. Kyle Baxo, what a shot. And has his second of the day. Yeah, shooting that across his body. Into the bottom corner there. One of the Calvert Hall leaders on this team, Kyle Baxo. Committed to play for Bryant Lacrosse. Had a great season so far, continues to do so. Calvert Hall with another win at faceoff. I think that's three straight. That's that's uh that's sophomore Ben Cuomo in there now. Calvert Hall goals scored by number 42, Kyle Baxo. So Calvert Hall now. Bringing in the second, making some substitutions. And stick is loose. And a yard sale. Belongs to John Carroll there. Duggan dumps it off. Kelly can't handle it. But the quick passing from Calvert Hall and Joe on the doorstep. Couldn't couldn't control it. Looked like he uh, was ready to fire that before it was uh, completely in his stick. Great defense by Johnson for Calvert Hall. And John Carroll need to get this ball over quickly. And get Just it over. Barely. Had about one second left. So Calvert here's Hall another break. Here's Johnson. Passes it to Collier. And Collier will decide to back it out. Here's Scott, Owen Scott, another save for John Carroll and Coolahan. Uh, John Carroll get it over, but met by Hunter Bowen. And a risky pass picked off by Warren. And now Warren with a nice pass upfield to Collier. 
John Carroll really haven't had anything offensively since their first goal. Yeah, like I said, they got off to a quick start there, but ever since then, Calvert Hall has dominated. Here's Up a hat trick right now. Hoddle taking it left side with speed. And another safe for Cullihan. But the pass overthrown. And Johnson going to be called off. Just wasn't aware if he wasn't aware of where he was on the field. Stepped over the line. So now John Carroll. A good good check by Brad Johnson to win it back. And he gets it. Tries to get it to Schwartz, and Schwartz lays a big hit. Ball's still loose. Never like seeing the goalie out. And Schwartz finally gets a hang of it after the pass from Johnson. And now Donnie Lewis taking off the do-rag. <laughs> and now Lewis passes it to Kelly. Kelly's shot deflected. Yeah, we were informed earlier that it was a good luck charm, and he hasn't lost yet wearing it. Donnie is going to be playing football at the University of Delaware, where Joe Flacco played his college days after this year. Oh, a good move by Forte. Forte gets it over to Kelly. Now Hoddle tries to get it inside. To Ball's still loose, now picked up by John Carroll. Can they finally get a successful clear? Great pass by Coolahan. Get it over, but now stuck with a long pole. And we'll go Calvert Hall way. Calvert Hall with three guys swarming there. Really nothing John Carroll could do. Just good defense. So that will do it for us for the first quarter of action. Calvert all up four to one over John Carroll. And we'll be back for the start of the second quarter. Back for the start of the second quarter. Calvert all up four to one. And Cuomo able to win it. Nagy pick it up quick. And Calvert Hall gets a goal. That's Luke Whalen. Great heads up play by Nagy. Gets it to Kelly. Kelly dumping it down to Whalen to score in the first eight seconds of the start of this second quarter. Yeah, that did not take long at all. Nagy. Hustling his way up the field and just finding the open man in Whalen. 
Seems like everyone so far is scoring for Calvert Hall. They're spreading the love. And that's two that's two earlies on Cox. Calvert Hall goals scored by number thirty-three, Lou Quayle. Assist by number nine, Jimmy Kelly. Here's Hoddle. Now Baxo. Baxo with some space. Good pass to Kelly. Kelly shot stuffed by Coolahan. Ball still loose. Kelly gonna be able to save it. And timeout called by Coach Kelly. And a smart timeout as Calvert-All in a little bit of a dangerous position. So they have 58 on the shot clock. When we come back out of the Calvert All timeout. Back out of the timeout. 11-17 left to go in the first half. Shuey gonna bring it in and get it right back. Now with Forte. Forte by his defender. Shot over net. So he took a fall. Here's Kelly, gets the screen from Hoddle. Back to Hoddle, shot off the mark. Fired that in there, just a little bit off. It's a good look though. Whalen able to run it out, so it stays Calvert Hall ball and a fresh 60 on the clock. Here's Baxo, difficult pass for Whalen, able to con control it. Another good move by Forte. Shuey Kelly shot. Another save by Coolahan. It's been a busy day so far for Coolahan. He's made a couple of impressive saves so far today. Now Collier looking for the dodge. Baxo shot. Another one off the mark. Covered all with a great offensive possession here and just needs to find a way to finish. Here's Whalen. Now Baxo. Excuse me, Forte. Whalen's a little stuck. And a difficult pass to Baxo. And they're going to call Johnson over the line. So now John Carroll could capitalize on this distorted Calvert Hall defense. One of their first possessions in a long time. Certainly one of the first of this quarter. Yeah, they may have had two in the first quarter. One resulting in the goal, that pass. And that ball poked out by Warren. Warren had a heck of a day so far. Caused a couple turnovers and
been really strong other than the penalty. So Lewis will carry it over untouched. And now Calvertall gets another chance on the offensive end. Decent crowd here today for a uh, 4 p.m. game on a weekday. Always have good crowds here for the lacrosse games. Here's Hoddle. Working it around <coughs> Calvert Hall. Looking for looking for a uh, opening. So now Botek gonna dodge. Ryan Botek gets the goal. Simple dodge. Puts it buries it bottom left corner. Calvert Hall up five. There's really nothing complicated about that move, just simple little dodge and Calvert Hall has scored a lot of goals off that today. I still don't think one person has scored twice. Six goals in. Cuomo losing his first face off. Calvert Hall goals scored by number eight, Ryan Botet. Now John Carroll with the offensive possession. Kolb gonna dodge, trying to get a shot off. That's over net. Schwartz runs it out. Cabral will get possession once again. Warren finds an open Patelka and now gets it to Nagy. Cabral done been very successful on their clears today. Not much of an issue. Yeah, they really haven't had too much of an issue with any kind of turnover so far today. Baxo shot off the bar. And ground ball picked up by Collier. Collier loses it. Flag comes out. It was a nice fake pass there by Coward Hall that Led to the back to a shot, just missing. So they're going to get Collier on a technical foul. Call it a hold. Only a 30 second penalty. So John Carroll, their second man up, offense of the day. 0 for 1 so far. Can they cut the lead to 4? John Carroll going to try and work it, finding op find an opening, and this man up, man down, excuse me, man down defense for Kick Albert Hall. Good pressure from Warren. And penalty, penalty is released. So that 30 seconds, that penalty is done. So sides are all evened up. Six on six now. And good hustle by Josh Nagy to get in. And another pickoff for Warren. And Johnson absorbs the hit. And yeah, when John Carroll was up, uh, a man, they really didn't capitalized too much spent most of it behind the goal that looked like almost a no look shot there 
Calvert Hall ball with a fresh 80. And Lewis will grab it to start this clear. Donnie, it's a full stride, just going to run it out past three defenders. A little juke move and sprint. Just keeping the game simple. Just under five minutes left in the half. Good pass by Collier. Shot. Another save for Coolahan. And that ground ball couldn't be picked up. He That's slipped Mark a Botek. little bit. I think that might have affected the uh, trajectory of that shot. Fedrowski with a nice check. Great play by Aiden Fedrowski. Gets the ball out. Yeah, nice job boxing out the defender too, making sure Coward Hall won possession. Coward Hall, no issue of clock, have a full minute on the shot clock. Risky pass from Hoddle, gets it over to Baxo. Here's Mark Botek. Good pass, sh shot, goal. Kyle Baxo, his third of the day, assist in there by Mark Botek. And it's 7 1 here at Paul Angelo Russo Stadium. Yeah, the Botek brothers both getting in uh, action on the uh, score sheet here today, and Kyle Baxo having himself a good game. Just good passing. Continuing to find the open man for the shot. So Baxo with three goals. Shuey Kelly, three assists. So that is the third uh, early procedure against Michael Cox. So Calvert Hall will get a man up offense here after the back to goal with just under four to play. Their first man up advantage of the day for Calvert Hall. Look for them to take advantage. And that shot scored. Wyatt Hoddle. A good pass in from Cody Collier to score on the man up. Yeah, he's not the uh, tallest, but he's certainly fast and shifty, and he's got a strong shot. Just firing that one into the ground, bouncing right in. Good ground ball by Fedrowski. And Snellbacher, the freshman, able to pick up that ground ball. So here's Scott. Scott finds Duggan. Joe Duggan, goal. The former freshman class president gets on the scoreboard today. And a great find by Ryan Botek. Yeah, Botek was just running up the middle and found Duggan wide open to his right. And another goal for the Cardinals. They're one away from double digits. And our first appearance of the man, the myth, the legend, William Robertson.
and a John Carroll player just stepping on the field right as the faceoff happened because they were down a man on the far side. So Will Rob has to count as a win in the books for Will Rob. I mean, he didn't win the uh, faceoff, but at the end of the day, Calvert Hall gets the ball. So Duggan going to dodge left. What a move by Joe Duggan. But just outside, pulled it a little. 2.18 left to go. Capital up 9-1 over John Carroll. And here's Ryan Botek. And a flag comes out. That shot by Owen Scott, no good. So Cabral will get another man up offense. And to bring on that man up offense, we bring in Quinn Gardner. Quinn Gardner, welcome. Hello. How's it going, Quinn? It's going well, Kevin. Uh, it's always I'm always in a good mood when Calvert Hall's winning. So, by I the way, for uh, you viewers who don't know, Quinn, who's with me right now, is the uh, student spirit director for the Cardinals. Yes, so I'm I'm very familiar with this team, um, the ups and the downs. So I'm glad I'm glad that today's an up. You know, couldn't have asked for much of a better start to this game. Coward Hall trying to get into double digits before halftime. Quinn, do you have any messages for the Calvert Hall faithful? Uh, I would just say, you know, we haven't seen the best that this team can do until, you know, today and, and then the past couple days where we've had, or the past couple games where we've had some really good performances from a lot of the guys who, you know, didn't have the best performances starting off the season. And I think this is what the, this team is capable of against any opponent in, in the A conference. Um, and they just haven't really found their stride, and um, I'm happy to see that that's what they're doing now. As uh, Kyle Baxo takes away that, he's going to take it across the line. Cody Collier coming in for the assist, and Peyton Forte loses the ball in front of the goal. That was a uh, great check by Baxo, and now we're going to see a flag come down to some fans' dismay. I think Calvert Hall will be heading over to the penalty box. I would not be happy as a John Carroll fan watching this game either, I will say. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, he was upset with the call, actually. Wouldn't be a very fun game to cheer for if you were John Carroll. Absolutely not. Quinn, do you have any favorite sports to uh, cheer for? Well, lacrosse is always one of the best just because of the fast pace of the game. Um, you know, Calvert Hall is historically one of the best teams in the conference at lacrosse. Um, you know, of course, I, I always loved the varsity football games before I was playing in them. Uh, hockey's exciting. You know, I'm really loving this lacrosse season so far. We haven't had the, the greatest start of the season, but but I'm, I'm really loving just watching these guys play and, and supporting them because – they always have a great attitude. They fight till the end always. So I'm, I'm proud to I'm proud to represent this team in the stands. Just 40 seconds left as that shot is wide by Hoddle. Good block by the goalie. One last opportunity for the Patriots. Number three, Doogie Cole, really getting lit up before throwing the ball out of bounds. Yeah. He's going to head off. Doogie. Doogie went flying there. Just 10 seconds. Coward Hall probably just going to elect to hold this one final shot. They can get it off. Doesn't look like they will. Kelly might have one chance. No. Coward Hall going to go to the locker room up 9-1. to one. Can't be too upset with uh, the results we've seen so far today. Dominated the time of possession ever since the uh, first two face-offs. Haven't looked back since. 
Right, and I'm sure, you know, a coach that's as much of a stickler as Coach Kelly, he'll have some notes for the guys anyway, but, you know, they'll they'll be heading into this second half confident, you know, ready to finish out the game. Feeling on top of the world, really, Kevin. Any closing remarks before we head to the halftime break? Nothing specific, Kevin. Just, uh, you know, pure dominance by Calvert Hall. Not much to talk about. They're just... Dominating every aspect of the game so far. Offense, defense, in transition. Um, yeah. Just being outmatched. 9-1 in this blowout right now. We will see if John Carroll can try and climb their way back into this in the second half. Quinn, thank you for joining us here. To of course, this Kevin. First half. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. We will see you all for the start of the second half.
Now we have to. What do I even say? And I hope you all are still on the live stream because we are here approximately 3.15 early with a halftime show. I'm here with Ross Weaver, Quinn Gardner, and Sam Ryan, S. Ryan Shots. Quinn, what are your thoughts from the first half? I know I was, you hopped on for a little bit, but what are, uh, your, yes, what are your thoughts? I did. I was really excited just because, well, of course, they did score that one early goal, but I was like, you know what? We've been taking a little bit of time to warm up uh, at the beginning of these last few games, so I knew that Calvert Hall would bounce back and they ended up scoring nine unanswered. So, you know, of course I'm excited. I'm a fan. I love this team. Um, I think they're playing some really good lacrosse right now. Obviously, John Carroll not, you know, the most elite uh, opponent. But I think that they're showing just their ability and, the, and then, the, um, you know, their coordination, their teamwork. They look like they're just, they're just playing out there, you know, where previously maybe there was a little bit more thinking behind their actions. Um, so, yeah, today I'm, I've just been really happy with the way the guys are playing. Yeah, sure, of course. Ross, what, Ross, what are, your, what are your thoughts of the first half? Uh, I have to agree with Quinn there. Um, you know, as a former track athlete, these are the days you just love. Uh, game days. Get to practice some track, run some track, and uh, also get to watch Calvert Hall dominate. So, yeah, this is one of those days where you love to be out here watching. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sam, you're not always up. You're not always up here, but you're normally uh, you're normally down on the field, blowing that horn. What are your uh, What are your thoughts from from the sidelines today? Oh, uh, they're moving the ball well. Uh, we have some mistakes here and there, but all together, scoring goals and it's a great day to be a Cardinal. And what you know? What are some uh, what, what are some of the things that Coach Kelly was saying coming into this game? Uh, I mean, we can't underestimate John Carroll. They did they did beat us last year by one goal, but uh, I think we're proving ourselves from last year up nine one at halftime. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yeah. it. All no right. Problem. Well, um, that will do it for us uh, for the halftime. A minute fifteen. We will take a break and be back for the start of the second half. So no face-off to start the half because of that late penalty. And what a play by Calvert Hall. Calvert Four Hall defenders just defense, swarming. Yeah. Quadruple teaming there. So Calvert Hall will first force the turnover, and Hoddle, Hoddle, Baxo, and Mitchell, the middies out there. Baxo takes it quick. That was a low pass to Whalen. 
And a nice check by Coolahan. So now Whalen takes it inside, dumps it out. Here's Kelly. Good check for John Carroll. And now Baxo. Kelly back to Baxo. 35 on the shot clock. Still have time. Mitchell with a nice spin move. Takes it inside. And here's Baxo with the dodge. Baxo shot. What a rip from Kyle Baxo. Picked up by John Carroll. Yeah, that was a nice good save. Nice save by Coolahan. Almost like the goalie short hopped it there. And John Carroll trying to get the goal. As Schwartz was out with the the ten man press. Whalen tries to take it inside as Calvert all was close to an offsides right at midfield. But good heads up by Hoddle. Cabral really working it with their lead right now. Just trying to get a good shot. Mitchell off the mark. I really didn't have the angle there. Calvert Hall will keep the ball. So 40 seconds on the shot clock for Calvert Hall. They're up nine to one. And miss pass. It's a turnover for Calvert Hall. And John Carroll will attempt to get the clear. It's one of the uh, first careless turnovers that of the day we've seen from this Cardinals offense. Talk about a long pass. So John Carroll will keep it. Here's Carter. Carter will dump it off to Smith Meyer. Smithmeyer pass, shot, goal. That's Dougie Kolb. His first of the game. A good pass by Smithmeyer. Yeah, John Carroll found themselves down eight goals coming into this half. They have to be very aggressive to try and climb back here. And I feel like the sense of urgency was just kind of there on that possession. They can keep up that hustle, maybe steal a few goals. They started off strong in the first half as well and quickly faded. See if they can keep the, this momentum this time. Whistles. <laughs> Whistles come in, and John Carroll will call the timeout with a good face-off win for Cox, and we'll be back after the timeout.
back out of the timeout. Calvert Hall up 9-2 over John Carroll. Patriots have it on their offensive side of things. And here's Smithmeyer with it. Still almost a half to go, so plenty of time for them to make a comeback. Here's Doogie Kolb. Good pass. Just off the mark for Thompson. Getting new balls. That one rolls all the way. Through the track. Temple will get it. It's a Kolb. And Kolb shot off the mark. And run out by John Carroll. Good defense there from Calvert Hall. He really had no angle to get that ball in the net. Here's Thompson, that shot, goal. That's 37, Greg Temple, good pass by Kolb. Yeah, getting a little bit close to the crease there, but he was still not in that restricted area. John Carroll putting up the first two goals of this half. Strickland back in for the faceoff. Good pick up by Snellbacher. And that pass over the over the stick of Strickland. Donnie and Lewis. what a hit by Donnie Lewis. My goodness. And stuffed. What a save. Yeah, Lewis is used hand. to uh, receiving those tackles as a wide receiver, not giving them. And that ball looked to be in, but hit the outside of the goal. And an open net for Calvert Hall with that 10 man, 10 man press. And it'll stay John Carroll ball. Here's Kolb, good pressure by Nagy. That shot from distance and a save by Schwartz. Nagy gonna run it out for the clear. Here's Botek. Red Hall waiting for the substitution. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. And what a run by Wyatt Hoddle. The speed, the footwork, and an excellent finish for his hat trick on this Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, good job by Calvert Hall waiting for the substitution. Hoddle coming in and scoring about five seconds later. He's got sound fundamentals right there. Nothing complicated about that play. Just out hustling and a good shot. Strickland's getting this face off as well. Shuey nearly scoring that one, but just missing. Yeah, 
but just fired that one down the field. Like a football pass almost. John Carroll's got possession. Albert Hall still has a seven point lead. Caught on that penalty. We'll reset the shot clock. Here's Temple. Now gets it over to Thompson. Thompson from distance. Good save for Schwartz. And Alex Schwartz gets it out. And now Snellbacher going to carry it over. Great run for the freshman. Yeah, attempted check over there by John Carroll defense to no avail. So now Mitchell comes on, Hoddle comes on. Forty five on the shot clock. Hoddle gets it to Whalen. And what a goal it would have been. Should we Nearly missing it. Cabardall keeps it in. Here's Collier. Dumps it off. Jackson Mitchell looking for goal. And another save for Coolahan. Putting his body on the line for John Carroll, the Patriots. Collier looking to dodge. Good defense for the Patriots. That's Logan Bolts. Kelly gets a little bit of space. Gets it to Botek. 30 on the shot clock. Hoddle off the screen. Oh, what a pass. And just off the mark. Just barely. On some of these passes. Yeah, a couple of opportunities there for Calvert Hall. It's a long possession, and I think that was two shots that ended up just missing. John Carroll fires it down the field again. They like that long pass. Temple to dodge, great defense by Johnson. Staying aggressive, really nowhere to go for John Carroll. So they're gonna call an illegal screen against John Carroll. Good call by the referees. And now Yasu Kelly's got it. And Kelly gonna carry it. Kelly related to Shuey Kelly. Here's All Sisto. Sisto and Josh Younger. Younger going to dodge right. Now Kelly with it. Shuey, three assists on the day. Now over to Averno. Sisto, Averno, shot and goal. Sisto, Averno with a rip from distance. Gets him and Kelly in the books and puts yeah, Calvert all up 11 3. Longer distance shot, but it was certainly accurate. They went low, bouncing in. I think Calvert Hall's got a pretty comfortable lead right now, 11 to 3. John Carroll with a new face-off guy. 
We've got number 22, Justin Soberlaski. So Carter's with it now. Great defense by Calvert Hall. Turf monster. Good recovery though. Good check by Donnie with a little help by Chris Ciano. Turnover for Calvert Hall as the closing seconds of the third quarter tick down. Calvert Hall up 11-3 with 12 minutes left to play. We'll be back for the start of the fourth. back for the start of the fourth quarter. Cuomo out there going against Cox. And Cuomo wins it. Another face-off win for the Cardinals. Cabernet gets it to Botek. And on come Josh Younger, Yasu Kelly, and Sisto Averno. Here comes Averno. He's going to dodge left. Gets it behind net. Good pass inside. Oh, and what a goal. Ball popped up for Kelly. Goes a little behind the back and puts it away. A fancy little shot points. there by Kelly. Increasing Calvert Hall's lead to 12 to 3. Showing off the ball skills there. And coming in at defense for Cabardall, Cole Motter and Griffin McNear. McNear, we've seen as that fourth, fourth defender all year, but Motter getting some minutes in this fourth quarter. 
Good move from Kelly. And now here comes Duggan. Will Schoonmaker. Oh, what a shot from Hoddle. Just off the mark. And Mark Botek bringing it in. Now to Schoonmaker. And now Duggan looking to dodge. Good move by Joe Duggan. Shot goal. What a dodge to the left for Joe Duggan. That shows a quick burst of energy there. Fires it into the upper right corner. Able to beat his defender one on one. Cuomo taking the face off against Cox. Kemsky comes in with Fedrowski on the sides. And they're going to call a hold against Calvert Hall. So John Carroll will get possession. Good play from Wilby Kemsky. Ball loose, picked up by Calvert Hall. And that pass intended for Botek. Schoonmaker can't pick it up. Opportunity for John Carroll. Resetting the offense. And Shuey Kelly stuck on defense for Calvert Hall as well as Botek. Flag comes out. So going against Calvert Hall. Calvert Hall need to stop here. Good defense from Kelly. And referee stops play. So Calvert all called for an offsides. Um, so that'll be a 30 second penalty. Now John Carroll with a man up offense after the after the penalty. Ten on the penalty. That shot gonna be run out by John Carroll. Just six seconds on the penalty left. John Carroll winning possession there with some hustle. Trying to take advantage here up one man. And penalties released. Shot. Good save for Schwartz. Didn't go in, but they did get a good look on goal. Just fired right at Schwartz. Let's see what Donnie Lewis can do. Oh, what a move. Donnie Lewis with the spin. Nice little double spin move there, it looked like. I'm going to say he probably got that from football. Just over eight minutes left. Calvert Hall up 13 to three. 
over John Carroll. Midfielders coming in for Calvert Hall, Younger, Averna, and Yasu Kelly. Sisto, his shot off the post, and right to Mark Botek. Now here's Kelly. Kelly dodges right, and from distance, Yasu Kelly just off. And that's Schwanky with the run out. So now Will Schwanky gets it over to Averna. Sisto trying to use. Good defense by John Spoy. Carroll. Here's Yasu. Dodges right. Another shot. Stays with Calvert Hall. One out by Schwanky and Williams. Been no easy shots for Calvert Hall on this possession. Younger can't get it to go. It's not another Calvert Hall run out. Averna will bring it back in. Ten on the shot clock. Here's Kelly. Kelly dumps it. Ball rolls across the face of the goal. And two seconds on the clock. And there's the air horn, so shot clock violation goes against Calvert Hall. And Jordan Jackson comes in, as well as Kemsky. And whistles come in. And timeout called by John Carroll. So they will try and figure something out here. Certainly have a... Try and get another goal before. A lot of work to do. Down ten. Six and a half minutes to go. But we'll talk it over. Let's see if they can try and mount an amazing comeback. So we'll be back after the timeout. Six thirty-five left to go. Covered all up thirteen three over the John Carroll Patriots. Schwartz will finish his day as Josh Stevens comes in for Covered all. Yeah, as time continues to go, we'll probably start to see more and more guys get in off the bench. A great ball by Wilby Kemsky. And a good run out by Chris Hewitt. Hewitt's already got an insane amount of offers for football. Just had one year of football so far and <laughs> He's got offers to some great places. John Carroll called for the offsides. <laughs> so Owen Scott will come in, as well as Ronan Butler. So Schwanky getting harassed. Out at midfield, finally gets it off. Here's Scott. Scott with a fake pass, shot, deflected, balls down, and pulled out. Stay in for Calvert Hall, Schoonmaker. 
trying to get the ground ball. Still down and picked up by Botek. Here's Butler. Butler dodges right and turnover for Calvert Hall. Just under five minutes left in this game now. subs to come in. Here's Max Murray. And Hoffman. Minnie's in now. Hoffman. Huffman, Johns, and Murray. Huffman shot, goal. Preston Huffman, what a move. Yeah. Gets Calvert Hall up to 14 to three lead. Add to the scorebook, another name down. Good play there by Hoffman. Certainly looking very good right now for Calvert Hall. The clock continues to uh, go. Now just three and a half minutes left. Cuomo gets the face-off win. Calvert Hall and goal. Score five, number 32, Preston Humphrey. Shot from Johns off the mark. And Huey will get us restarted. Three or five left to go. Another shot just off the mark. That was Murray. One rolling all the way to the fence. Howard Hall can have another chance. Here's Schwanky. Schwanky shot off the post. Now John Carroll with the clear. And man in the crease will be called against John Carroll. So turnover as McNear brings it back into play. Stevens and now Murray. It's it over to Hoffman. Under 2.30 to play. In comes the younger Averna and Kelly for the Cardinals. Josh Younger, full stride, trying to dump it off to Williams, and that rolls out of bounds. Huey made an effort, trying to keep it in play. Just under two minutes left now. Time taken away. <laughs> and open goal. <laughs> Tough call there. It's called uh, in the crease. That goal going to be no good. A dramatic goal there, to say the least.
Connor Huey's so close. Thought he got tripped. I thought there was a possibility of that. No call. Great defense from Jackson. That shot saved. Castro in for the Cardinals now. And Averna gonna clear it with ease. 46 to play now. Can, it all. can it hold if they yeah. want to. Just hold it out here. Call game. Looks like they might choose to do that. So Kelly will hold it out for the final 10. And Calvert Hall gets another win in the books over John Carroll, 14 to three is your final score here the from Paul Angelo Russo Stadium. Cardinals improving now, the three and one conference, six and three overall, good win. Um, coming in, they were expected to get this win, but they did come show up, took care of business. Not too many things you can uh, complain about today. If you're Coach Kelly, well played game. Calvertall's next matchup this Friday at McDonough. That's a huge game for this Cardinal team and would really put them up in the standings. Yeah, two of the best teams in the conference. McDonough, I believe, won it all last year. Calvert Hall would uh, love to uh, improve their seating, and that will certainly be a matchup you could potentially even see later on in the playoffs. And that will do it for us this afternoon. Pleasure working with you, Kevin. This is Brennan Trentler alongside Kevin Lochte. Have a good night.